Thank you, one and all, and thank you, Kelly, and thank you, Stage Left Band. They make it easy. I just walk up here and rock out a little bit, then the show starts. It's pretty amazing. Uh, it's a much better sound here than the one I grew up with, which went something like this. Stop. Don't. Shh. Be still. Why, why can't you, you, can't you be still? How many people grew up with that sound? Let's hear a cheer. I spent, I mean, let's face it, little kids are basically tornadoes in underoos. I spent the first half of my life fighting all of that and the second half of my life trying to undo the damage it did to me. I am trying to rediscover play and we're taking you all with us in the process. Thank you, one person who clapped. This led me to really weird pants. <laughs> Do we really want to have the vote off on the pants now? Okay, there are going to be much better pants up here in just a little while. Tolerate what you've got, and, and let's just move forward. I'm going to let him have it. That was pretty good. <laughs> I spent, in addition to dressing like a fool and becoming a fool, I spent years walking around with a little purple ball that was my best friend. I named him Lucky because he got to go all the really cool places like into pretty girls' laps. Uh, it's a great conversation starter too, incidentally. True story. But I did this and I developed the compulsive habit of always doing something. I, once I had a fidget widget that meant something, all of that nervous energy went into that. The fact that I can now stand here and not be is because I do that all the time. Here's the thing. Once you get into that rhythm of doing that, you have this this thing that you can't really stop, even if you don't have a prop. I shaved my head a number of years ago and I started wearing hats because it gets cold. It, try one winter without hair, seriously. You try one winter without hair and then you, one of these. But I started doing little hat tricks all the time because I think they're awesome. And I started having fun with that and then it became a compulsion and I do it all the time in the grocery store. We, anyway, oh, I'm the terror of the produce aisle, truthfully. You know, Lemons, limes, doesn't matter. Working on celery and broccoli, I think we got, anyway. But I do this thing with my hat and I'm goofing off and I'm at the register this weekend and there's, there's the left and right sides of my universe, the two extremes of my universe. There's a couple on this side and there's a mother and son over here. And the couple rolls their eyes, sighs heavily and turns away like my entire childhood did. It's so, this is the best therapy ever. Get one of these stamps, come up here, bear your soul, get really angry phone calls from your relatives and feel better about yourself. It's great. <laughs> Not quite the flashback I was hoping for. And then on the other side of the room, I hear the best sentence ever. I'm doing this and flipping my hat around and being all stupid and silly. And I hear he's trying to be a clown. No, this is the best thing you could say because I pulled a pin. I always carry a pin with me somewhere when I'm, I'm out in the world, a little circus freaks pin, and I walk over her hand and said, actually, I've been trying for about seven years. It's finally starting to work out. <laughs> Next thing I know, we're talking about how they love the circus, how his birthday's coming up, and um, play can get you gigs, folks. So coming soon to a birthday party near you. More therapy. And a reminder that play because it pays off in the weirdest ways. You get to make people roll their eyes and you get to make families happy. So play, play, play. Yes? Thank you. This is a good place to play once you polish it up. We call it the open stage and I welcome you. <laughs> 